What is going on guys? By popular request, I'm starting a Gabby Petito video series. So this will be part one, and in this video we are going to identify the key players in the Gabby Petito case. Uh, number one, obviously, the deceased, Gabby Petito. Brian Laundrie, her uh, fiancé. And now, just today, Dog the Bounty Hunter has joined the fray. So, real quick, let me just go over what I believe happened. The specifics of this I don't know, but obviously Gabby and Brian were going on a trip, you know, cross-country in a van, right? That's like a known thing. And in Wyoming, Gabby Petito's body was found. I think without a question, Brian Laundrie is the one that did it. And the reason I think that is because... For example, just put yourself in his shoes. Let's say, you know, Gabby fell off a cliff and she died that way. Or let's say somebody else killed her. Or let's say she wandered off or anything else happened. You would have reported that. You would, you would have told somebody that. The only reason you would have just went home and then just acted like it didn't happen is if you did it. And then he disappeared. So I think he's just, it just points to guilt for sure. Uh, that's what the cops are trying to find him right now and, I guess, question him and go through the trial, blah, blah, blah. One of my good friends keeps bringing up the fact that he's actually not a murder suspect at this point. He's only a person of interest, and that is kind of interesting. It's like, why did, why do the cops not call him a murder suspect? I do not know. But right now, with Dog on the case, Dog the bounty hunter, I think Brian will be found... Well, Dog says two days. I'm going to say... I'm going to say five, though. I'm going to give Dog a little bit more time just be, just because the world's a big place and this kid could be hiding anywhere, you know? So I think Dog's pretty ambitious to say two days because he's already been gone here since September 14th. Today is the 27th, I think. Yeah, the 27th. So he's almost... He'll be gone two weeks tomorrow. You know, two, it'll be two weeks tomorrow. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. It'll be two weeks tomorrow. So... We shall see what happens, but it's been a very interesting case. She was obviously troubled with some things too, by the way. If you look at the body cam footage of that arrest, she was kind of a wreck, you know, so it, who knows what's going on. I heard some rumors too. I heard that they were both have some type of mental problem, such as anxiety or uh, OCD or something like that, and they were both not taking their medicine on this trip. So if that's true or not, I'm not sure, but I did hear that as a rumor. That would add on some extra stuff to this case. We shall see. Anyway, guys, that's all I have to say for now. That's part one of this video series, and we will follow this through till the end. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.